Good afternoon and welcome to Riverside Crafts. I'm Ray from Ray's Crafty Creations and today I'm going to be showing you how I made this card. This The stamp that I'm using will be this one and it's by Francois Reed and it's from Woodware. Um, it's a really nice stamp, I have to say. I quite like this one. I've played with it quite a lot recently. Um, this technique, paper piece, and it's not what I do very often, but it's brilliant for busting all those scraps of paper that you have. Um, if you're like me, you have bits of paper from all sorts of projects and you stick them in a pot because you think you're going to use them again. And this is the way to use up those bits. Um, it's very simple, nice and quick in some ways. Um, but depending on, your, obviously, your project, it can be as intricate as you like. So I'm going to show you how I did mine and where I started. And we'll move on from there. Now, first things first, my initial piece of paper that I'm going to be putting my picture onto. So I'm going to stamp, placing my stamp in position, picking it up on my stamp platform, putting my paper down and holding it in position with my magnets. I'm using Memento, um, which is a water-based ink, mainly because I can, I don't need anything special to have to cut to do this with ink wise and i can clean my stamp really well afterwards so it's not going to mess my stamp up and i can sort of play a bit more and they're normally quite a nice wet ink pad so you get a better image first time okay so as you can see i'm tapping the ink pad onto the stamp making sure i've got nice coverage put the stamp back in its pot just put some pressure on stamp platform and there we go that's my image that I'm going to build it onto so that's my first image now how I do to get my little bits and bobs is if I show you some of the bits that I've stamped on previously I've got some to still do as you can see this has already been had bits cut out of it so this was stamped on in the same way as what I've just done before and then I've cut out bits so you can see that there's quite a lot cut out but I don't bin it because a lot of these pieces can still be used okay so I've got sort of a mix of colors that I've used and bits and odd bits where I've just I've only stamped part of it rather than all of it as well so I'm just going to do a couple of stamps now onto some different paper stocks I want some different colors for what I'm doing now I'm, I'm not going to be able to cover the whole of my stamp because my paper isn't big enough really is it? it's a smaller piece so I'm, only, I'm just going to stamp the bits that I know that I want covering really if that makes sense on this stamp so I've got the bits that I'm looking for so I have now stamped what I'm looking for so I'm going to put that to one side for a minute and I'm going to just do a little bit on another piece here it is this is the one I wanted which is a real red but I thought it would be quite nice to use for this because it's going to be quite a definite piece when I put it in, which is quite nice sometimes to have a piece that sort of really shines out. So I'm just going to do this. Stamp it on. Okay, so that's stamped into position. I'm going to put this out of the way for a minute. I don't need it anymore. I'm going to bring in the piece that I've started. These are my cutting scissors. And just so that we're not spending all day cutting, because there's a lot to cut out, because this is quite a busy one. I've actually done some of my cutting already, but I might decide when I'm looking at it, actually, I don't like that in that order, if that makes sense. So at the moment, I've got a yellow piece there that I've done for my main part of my house and I've got a blue bit I've got a, a piece I've done there but it's not very bright but I'm, I'm not sure yet so I haven't got any further I've got a piece here from a flower up there what else have I done at the moment oh I've got my I've got a bit here that goes around my door but I, would, I want a different colored door because I'm not happy with that one and I've got a piece here for there so I'm getting I'm sort of it's like building and creating your own jigsaw. So you're gonna gradually build yourself a jigsaw, okay? And it's up to you how you build it, what you use, what you don't use, and what you like to see really. So you can have a bit of a play with it. So I'm gonna just cut out 
a piece up here out of this green because I want it to go in there I think I'm going to put this top piece here because I think it would look quite nice at the top here I'm just going to cut this out okay I hope you're all well and doing okay and enjoying this beautiful week we've had with all the sunshine it's been absolutely gorgeous hasn't it so we can't complain all right so i'm going to do that like that for a minute i'm just going to take out the the bit i want here which is the door at the moment because i think i really would like a nice definite door so i'm just going to cut the door out of this piece When you do this, when you cut them all into bits, you can actually make multiple cards quite quickly because you'll have all these bits that will all work in together because you'll have got the leftovers from each piece. So each piece you've done will then work. Oh, that's quite good. I like the door there. That works, doesn't it? So I've done that bit. Let's have a look. What other colours have we got here? Because I'm going to need a piece for here that I've not got. So I'm just having a look to see what colour I fancy putting down that side. It doesn't want to be that one. This one might work quite well because it's a bit different. So I'm going to just take this off of here. And cut that piece up. And that's going to sit in there, I think. So it looks like I've got some flower border on that side, doesn't it? Right, now I've got to look at, I'm going to need some greenery, for, I've got leaves I need to, to green up. So I'm going to probably use the green off of this one, because the other one's quite olivey, and I don't fancy that green for what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just going to have a look, I think I'm going to cut that circle there to go in there, because I think that would be quite pretty. So I'm just going to do that now. While I'm just sorting. I was in the shop today and we've got some really, really lovely stamps come in. And that's so I was like, oh, which ones do I buy? Should I get them all? And that's so I've and some beautiful stencils, which I'm going to be playing with in the week. So I'm looking forward to that. So that's going to be nice to have some real time to just sit and fiddle with some stamps. I need some yellow for the centre of that flower there. As you can see, I haven't got any. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to stamp got a bit of yellow left here so I'm just going to put a little bit of ink on the piece that I want from because I want it on this flower up here so I'm just going to put some ink there not lots just a little bit okay I'm going to take a piece of my yellow that I've got left here and I'm just going to push it in place okay nice so I've got my yellow piece there to cut out So I get to use all the bits of my cardstock. I'm not wasting anything. Um, I'm using it all up so it all gets caught in and played with for this, which is nice. So I'm just doing all of this bit. Here we go. So that's going to go on there like so. And that gives me my yellow middle for that flower, which is quite nice. Quite like that one. Yeah, that's looking quite good. What do you think so far? Not too bad, I think. Not too shabby. Right, let's cut some green leaves. So we're just going to cut a few leaves. I've got my hearts ready, if you didn't, just in case you weren't hadn't seen. And they're there, ready to go up on top of my chimney. So I'm just going to cut in here to get this leaf out. you're somebody who has a lot of papers and you never know what to do with them or you've got a lot of papers that you're not sure of because you're only using tiny bits for things like this those papers that you're sat there looking at going oh I don't know if I like that one it's a bit too busy work really well because you're only using a little tiny bit so you can use up all sorts of papers that you've probably got hanging around that you're thinking oh I don't know what to do with that one um which is quite nice especially when we've got sort of like that dreaded thing around creeping up on us called Christmas where we need lots of cards. Well, we can use 
multiple colours to do things there. And it doesn't have to be Christmas paper. It can be any paper, which is really good. and makes life a bit easier. So I'm just going to put my leaves on here. Now the glue that I'm using is um, Cosmic is by Pin Flare, and it's the book binding glue. I love it because it's got a really nice detailed nozzle on it, which tends to be easier for me to put things in place, which I like. I don't lose things so easily. It's quite a quick grab, which is which is good. Um, It goes sorted all right so that's good there i'm just going to put a little bit of glue on that one so this one can go in place have i got them the right way around no i haven't quickly peel that one off because that's the wrong way around that one needs to be there because that's a bigger leaf i'll put this one back on here there we go so now my flower is pieced and if you look on this particular flower i'm going to hold it up for you so you can see a little bit more detail Okay, on this flower here, I've actually got the yellow piece, I've got a little bit of pink, the blue and the green. So I've actually used one, two, three, four papers just to do that little bit there. But it, what it does is it creates quite a nice image all over in total. So it's nice to do that. Now we're just going to put the, the house back on. So we'll put the house on like so and just push it in so it would sort of, it will, should all butt up to each other. And that it doesn't have to be perfect because you can lay things on top of each other so if you've got if you're not the best of paper trimmers and cutters and things don't panic that's why you've got nice big black outlines um on things before it makes life a little bit easier so you can just sort of add them in and also i don't if you notice the how this bit i'm not cut out the little tiny bits because i didn't really need to so i'm just i'm adding that in and then i just put something else on top of it so i'm just literally layering up what i've done so i've got multiple layers here on top of one on top of the other to create my finished piece if that makes sense so it's quite um busy in some ways okay and also because of the way the, the stamp's been done there are a lot of little tiny bits that help you to line it up because you can see where it's meant to go and it will just help you to line it up a bit and get it in the right place so it's not too much of a, a fiddle and it hides things quite nicely as well if you're not the best of doing this or the neatest person or you haven't got you don't want to spend you know you want to get over and done with yesterday which is normally my issue so that's going to go in there like so right now i have a flower for up here but where is it did i cut it out earlier i thought i'd made it up maybe I've moved, maybe i've moved it that's probably the good one isn't it no nope. oh well, we're going to use one. Oh no here we go we're going to use this a blue flower for up here and we've got the leaf to do as well haven't we we've got a bit build it up so here we go leaf's going on center because we just stamped that out on its own didn't we and cut it out so that's going just there chimney right. and some hearts which are going up here okay now i've got my rainbows to do so and i'm going to want them in different colors so i'm going to start off up here and i'm going to cut out a green piece um but i'm going to cut out the rainbow in a bigger piece and then layer on top of it so i've got less likely to have things not meet up if that makes sense so i'm going to go Now, 
you want to know what scissors I'm using, I'm using the Tim Holtz scissors, mainly because they've got a really nice handle on them. And one of the things I really like is that they've got little tiny teeth. So if I'm struggling to hold on to something, if I just I can hold it right at the tip without cutting it and putting it where I want it to go. So I can use them like my tweezers as well if I'm careful, which helps. Right, a bit of yellow. I've got some yellow that's been done really nicely, or have I got to stamp it on something else? Oh look, we've got red actually. We'll use this red because this is better. So I'm going to use the red for the outside piece. Okay, so that's going there. Mm -hmm. So let's put this down. That's one rainbow there. So I've just got this little rainbow here to do next. And we want different colourways, don't we? Well, we've got the red. So I'm going to start off with the red, I think, because I think I quite like that red. It's quite definite, isn't it? So my red gum. And over here I've got a little bit of yellow. So I'm going to cut my yellow ring with my outer ring again. So I'm just going to cut the outer one off of that. So that's my rainbows done and now i've just got this little bit here which is not too not a very big bit is it to do so i'm just gonna cut it out of which ones have i got it on because not me being me i haven't stamped it on all of them here we go i've got it in pink so i'm gonna put the pink one on first i'm just gonna cut it out so the pink can be my base Some different colours on that, I think. We've used a fair bit of green, haven't we? So we've got a little bit of red here, so let's use some of this. I quite like this one, a bit different. So I'm just cutting it out the same because what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut bits off and put them on to that bit. So there'll be some of the some pink will show and some red, then we'll have a bit of a mix. Okay, so that's those bits cut out. And we're going to start off, I think, with the red piece. So I'm just going to trim that red piece off. And put it there. So I've got a red bit going on just there. So that's that one. So we need, the, we need to ignore the next one. And then do one again. There we go. And then we're going to ignore one again. I hope you've all been busy doing a nice week and looking forward to the weekend where you can sit and do what you want. Have a bit of a break. Should be nice. Hopefully the weather will be 
just as sunny as it's been all week for you if you've been busy working and doing there we go so this is my picture now all paper pieced so you can see how i did it that was my technique and here's my image this one i've done on a piece of of um pattern paper already and this one i've done on white but you can see how you can just sort of really play with it now on here i didn't actually do my blinds well i'm going to do them this today but i'm actually going to do them i'm going to use a, a pen to do them in because i think it was just as easy sometimes to just put a little bit of color on using my pens or whatever crayon pencils or um distress inks whatever you fancy just put a bit of color in it And now my blinds are coloured as well, which is quite nice. So there we go. That is how I did that one. Um, I'm just going to show you how um, a couple of others that I have paper pieced so that you can see that it can be done with other things as well. And actually it can be done with very cute items. So I, the next ones I'm going to show you are one of the new stamps that we've had in with the Robins on. So this one has been paper pieced as well. I've used the same brown card all the way through but i've changed direction of the print so it looks slightly different i've used different colored reds green a bit so some of them are from bits that have already been previously stamped when i stamped it so that i've used most of it and i don't have an awful lot of yellow paper the one that i used for the houses is the last piece i got so that's actually a bit of post-it but nobody would really know because it looks nice and and here he is on his own as well so it's a really nice way to make some cards nice and quick not too difficult easier than coloring if you're not sure on that and you can just have a real good play and then all the different bits you've got left over you can just make more of the same so you can have a, a nice set of cards all looking slightly different using all your colors so i hope that's been helpful i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you again next time bye bye